it's a wonderfully warm welcome to my show insights with me your host today alex nyman bringing you an hour and a half of the very best in modern jazz and uh, some modern world music and um, we've got a veritable potpourri as usual of um the very very best and uh, we're going to kick off today with um a really nice track this is some um, from a guy called um brian jackson and uh, it's a track from his album and it's called under the bridge And that was a track there from uh, Brian Jackson. And uh, with him there was Ali Shaheed Mohammed and Adrian Young from the rather optimistically titled album Jazz Is Dead. <laughs> there you go. That's what it's called. Well, let's hope it's not, because um, if it is, I'm out of a job. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to move on. Um, we've got some, so I've got quite a, a, a I've actually put a, a playlist together, um, which uh, normally I, I tend to um, just. Uh, tend to go with um, how I feel on the day but I thought today might be nice just to yeah just sort of uh, stick a few things um, 
in, in preparation for the show and um, as such still a lot of music that I haven't really ever listened to um, so I'm just going to um, flick through the programme and uh, next we've got a track uh, called Jimmy Glue Glue and um, this is a track from him called Mediterranean Crossing <laughs>
Mediterranean Crossing Day featuring Nuduzzo Magatini from uh, Jimmy Nudlow's album called History in a Frame. And for those of you who might think, thinking, mm, that sounds a bit familiar, um, the chord changes that is, um, all you jazz aficionados out there, they were the, change, ja- they were the changes of course to um, a Midnight in Tunisia, Midnight in Tunisia, Night in t- <laughs> Night in Tunisia, sorry, Midnight in Tunisia. Okay, Night in Tunisia, um, Dizzy Gillespie um, uh, number. Yes. Okay. Um, anyway, let's move on. Let's to move on to a, uh, the to one, one of the most stunning guitarists I think has ever ever graced the earth. His name is John McLaughlin, and um, he's a lovely, wonderful, wonderful man. And um, and I and I've told the story often, but I'll say it once more. With when I was down in Monte Carlo for a number of years down there as the uh, resident saxophone player at the Monte Carlo Center, and excuse me, my my chai latte, my chai vanilla latte is, is making a comeback. Uh, while I was whilst I was down there, um, a, a, uh, uh, one of the gu- guitarist um, Phil uh, decided that, as he knew that John McLaughlin lived in Monte Carlo, he was going to go around and see him, being the sort of bold, adventurous chap that he was, <laughs> and he had no fear <laughs> whatsoever. I myself probably would have buckled under the pressure, but not Phil. Anyway, so he went round one afternoon because he lived at the, um, the Rockabella Apartments, which just uh, at the bottom of where the uh, 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 the sporting club starts so sort of a long sort of road up to the um the sporting club and at the base of that basically there's the the rock and apartments all sorts of people live there shirley bassey's got a great big suite there and you know all sorts of other beyond borg i think it also has a place anyway so john mclaughlin's got his place there too so uh, phil rocks up to the rock and and uh sees john mclaughlin's um, number or whatever it is his name on the, on the bell gives it a ring and John says hello John, Phil says hi I'm Phil I'm the guitarist the, I'd like to um, uh, could, I, could, I, could I come up and meet you <laughs> John says sure come on up so he did and he spent a very pleasant afternoon apparently talking about guitars and jazz and all sorts of wonderful things and um, and then he came back uh, I saw him later on that day and uh, he was on a p- p- positively on cloud nine I'm talking about Phil not John <laughs> well maybe John was on cloud nine too after meeting Phil he certainly was a wonderful chap that's for sure and um anyway so that's that's the sort of chap that John McLaughlin is apparently when he, Phil got up there he was sitting there in his white trousers and his white shirt sort of because he's a very zen sort of guy okay John McLaughlin he's very 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 spiritual sort of chap and I mean that in all seriousness he really is and um and you know sort of that meditation sort of thing and it's all part of what he you know what, what it revolves around you know I'm sp- speaking you know I'm, i think that's basically how it is <clears throat> i'm sure he'll call me up and correct me if i'm wrong okay anyway so that's john mclaughlin for you he's just a, an amazing guy an incredible guitarist the technique to die for and um and his compositions are wonderful too anyway all of that said here's here's a track from him and and i'll tell you about the album afterwards and this is called as the spirit sings <laughs>
John McLaughlin there as the Spirit Sings. That's from his album called Liberation Time. And he's just amazing. Hey? So, and, and I think he's probably sort of touching on his sort of 70s now, I think, in terms of age. Um, and it just shows you that music has no bounds um, when it comes to, or well, shall I say, no limits. Um, um, to a certain extent, obviously, if you're a, a guitarist or what, whatever, whatever, whatever else you might play, um, as long as you've got the limbs attached, presumably that you can play them with, then you're you're good to go. And uh, uh, obviously, he's proving that that's absolutely the case, as far as he's concerned. Let's go back to that uh, Brian Jackson album called uh, Jazz Is Dead. <laughs> such a strange album, such a strange name for an album. And um, this is another track from the album, and um, this is called Young Muhammad. Yeah, there we go. That was, uh, as I say, uh, jazz is dead. And um, just turn my microphone up. That's a little bit better. Sorry, it sounded like I was talking through a ball of cotton wool there. And um, yes, jazz is dead. It wouldn't have sounded like that to you, but it did to me through my headphones. And um, uh, Brian Smith there and the track called Young 
Muhammad. Okay, uh, let's move on now to another standard. This is recorded live by the Harvey S. Trio, and it's that well, well-known standard called On Green Dolphin Street.
and the fade out there on the live album i'm sure the audience would have appreciated that and uh that of course was the unmistakable sound there on guitar of the uh, one and only mike stern uh i haven't heard him play for a year, ooh, long 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 time and it's really cool to see that he's still out there doing his thing as they say or thing okay um i'm gonna move on uh, with um uh, a couple of uh, slightly sort of more subdued tracks as well i'm gonna play those back to back actually the first one is um the the wonderful ballad over the rainbow that's by dave brubeck and the uh trio and uh after that we've got graceful touch by tor Gustafsson trio. So here's uh, Dave Brubeck over the rainbow.
Beautiful stuff there. That was uh, the Tord Gustafsson Trio. And that particular track was called uh, Graceful Touch. And that's from the album. It's on the ECM label. And that's called, the album's actually called Changing Places. Okay, let's move on to uh, somebody who's very much uh, the flavour of the moment uh, in the saxophone world. His name is Kamasi Washington. And um, this is a track from him. And this is called The Sun Kissed Child.
Yeah, that was uh, Sunkiss Child there from uh, Kamasi Washington from the album by the same name. And um, I'm going to move on now to... Uh, oh, uh, headphones are going a bit weird. That's all right. That's all. You don't need to know that. And um, uh, this is a guy called... Well, I haven't heard of him before. His name is Butcher Brown. And this is a track from him. And this is called Tidal Wave.
Butcher Brown there with a track from his album called Tidal Wave. All right, let's go to somebody that I do know. Um, oh, well, a couple of people that I know anyway. Uh, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. And uh, this is their version of the wonderful sound. I got a kick out of you. My story is much too sad to be told But practically everything Leaves me totally cold The only exception I know is the case When I'm out on a quiet spree Fighting vainly the old and we And I suddenly turn and see Your fabulous face I get no kick from champagne That if I took even one sniff It would bore me terrifically too Yet I get a kick out of you I get a kick every time I see Ranger did a great job there switching the keys for both of those guys together that was amazing um uh, tony bennett there and lady gaga with the uh, wonderful old classic called i get a kick out of you um moving from one uh, pair of fan- fantastic singers to just one individual singer all on her own her name is andrea mottis and um i think she's portuguese i'm pretty sure she's portuguese um and she is product oh, product sorry that's a terrible word she is, she is a uh, student that has become um a uh, pretty much worldwide famous singer in her own right um, through a school that, of uh, musicians and uh, singers that have uh, been brought together by a bass player and I cannot for the life of me remember his name right now but um, it's basically a school that he's sort of put together and um, it, they are producing just uh, they are producing so the most amazing amazing vocalists singers uh, sorry singers and vocalists same thing the vocalists and musicians players like uh, Andrea herself I think she plays her trumpet she plays really great trumpet too I mean she's just you know just in terms of improvisation she's she's really up there she's fantastic anyway this is a track featuring her this is called the waters of march and featuring andrea mortis Thank you. 
sacos de vidro É a vida, o sol É a noite, a morte É o laço, o sol É peroba no campo Como da madeira, canita, candeia É uma tita pereira É madeira de vento Tumbo da ribanceira Um mistério profundo Um queira, não queira O vento vetando É o fim da ladeira É a viga, é o pão É a estrada ciumeira É a chuva
corpo sozinho Um caco de vida é a vida do sol É a noite e o monte, é um laço e um sol São as águas de um aço fechando o verão É a promessa de vida no teu coração So that was Chad Lefkowitz Brown there on the tenor saxophone, accompanying uh, Andrea Motis there. And uh, that uh, particular album is uh, called uh, Open World, and uh, it's actually the uh, uh, Chad Lefkowitz Brown and the Global Big Band. And it's featuring guys like, if you're interested in buying the album, of course, uh, on the LA Reserve album. It's uh, featuring guys like, as I say, uh, Arturo Sandoval, Randy Brecker, Lionel Lewicki. Andrea Motis, as you heard, Etienne Charles, Melissa Aldana, tenor saxophone, Miguel Zenon, uh, Alto Briskunberg, and Makoto Ozono on the piano. Cool. And right, now, where are we going next? We are going to, oh, of course we are, yeah, we're going to see, we're going to see David Sanborn. We had a little listen to him because he's going to move to the outskirts of town, apparently. It's featuring Eric Clapton on guitar. I'm gonna move, baby Way out on the outskirts of town I'm gonna move, baby Way out on the outskirts of town I don't need nobody Always hanging around Let me tell you honey We're gonna move away from here I don't need no ice man I'm gonna get you a bridge of air when we move Way out on the outskirts of town We don't need nobody Always hanging around Oh, 
always hanging round We won't need nobody, baby Always hanging around Hanging around Hanging around David Sanborn there, I'm from the uh, album called Here and Gone, and that was I'm Gonna Move to the Outskirts of Town, and that was Eric Clapton there on the vocals and the guitar, and uh, I'm gonna crack on with another wonderful saxophone player, and uh, as you know, I do like to play the odd saxophone player on here, and I don't mean odd as in their odd, I mean I mean by, you know, the, the quantity as it were, and um, one of these guys that I really love is playing is um, a guy called Joshua Redman, so track from him, it's called Heading Home.
wow, that's over. Oh, that's amazing. This is a wonderful track. <laughs> I sounded surprised because I'd just been chatting to Michael while that was on, and um, I've forgotten that um, it's actually only four minutes long, so long that track. However, let's move on. Here's another wonderful saxophone player, believe it or not. His name is Drew Lovano, one of my very, very, very favourites. And this is, as you can probably hear in the background, Love is a Many Splendid Thing. Thank you. 
that, of course, was uh, Joe Lovano there with uh, Joshua Redman, uh, again on tenor saxophone, uh, Margaret Miller uh, and uh, on the piano, Christy McBride on the bass, Lewis Nash on the drums, and Don Elias on the percussion. Fabulous rhythm section, to say the least. And I've been listening to that track now for... Oh, sorry, that track. I've been listening to that album for well over 20-odd years, I think, now. And, um, yeah, I've got uh, what about time just back for another couple of, couple of more tracks before the end of the programme. And um, I'm going to play you out with some beautiful uh, Diana Kroll and then uh, a lovely, lovely track by Richie Kamuka. And the first one, Diana Kroll. This is Like Someone in Love. Lately I find myself out gazing at stars Hearing guitars like someone in love Sometimes the things you do astound me Mostly whenever you're around Bump into things like someone in love Each time I look at you I'm a limp at a love And feeling like someone in love down this track this is Richie Kamucha Kamucha Richie Kamuka and Bill Holman um, this is Star Eyes and uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to you right now um, I hope you have a, a wonderful week ahead I know the, as of today that is if you're listening live the weather's not particularly brilliant but um, I'm sure it's going to pick up as we come into spring it's going to be a wonderful wonderful spring and a wonderful summer I'm sure ahead of us so uh, be safe have a great week ahead and I look forward to seeing you next week cheers bye bye